I am showing up today to bring messages of the beautiful Master Yeshua. The way he is showing up for me right now is as the mentor for messengers of light. And I have something that I channeled and I am going to be reading that for you today. Here we go. So Master Yeshua, a mentor for messengers of divine light. Light is truth. Light is love. Light is you. Energy. God. You are here for the same reason I came to be. To become. To express. To extend. Light. I see myself in you because I am you, within you, always one, as one, the one. I traveled far, I traveled far and wide to unknown lands, seeking answers to questions no one thought of asking. I was curious, just like you. I knew that there was more, and so do you. So keep searching, you're almost there. I never worried about the way others would respond to my words, for I knew that everything I said was an extension of love. I shared love, and to me, that was enough. It was enough knowing that what I did was the best that I could do. I spoke what I believed to be true, and at the time, I felt was right. I never spoke to those who were purposefully deaf, for it wasn't their time to listen to what I had to say. But eventually, they would listen to someone other than me. Eventually another would come to their door to extend their own light. It just wasn't my time. You are a messenger. You are here to speak. You are here to express all that you are. You are here to be. You came to this earth to share your perspective for what you have to say is something no one will ever be able to express. Not the way you do, because you are you. We are here to remind you of the mission you picked for yourself. And when he said we, I had a vision of a lot of different ascended masters, such as Buddha and many that previously walked this earth as human beings. No one sent you here to do anything. You alone chose to do this. Are you ready to believe in yourself, to trust your inner voice, to trust your heart? Why are you scared? What is holding you back? Give that to us. We'll share the burden. We'll carry that for you. Let it go. Let go. So just take a deep breath. Just continue to feel the energy within you. And he's here and he's with you and again master yeshua he's not showing up to be worshipped or to be seen as someone that is higher than anyone master yeshua is a very humble being and he sees himself in you because he's you we are a reflection of each other we are all god 
And um, after I channeled that information, I then received this message about the golden light or the a golden ray activation. The golden light ray activation is the resurrection of the inner sun, the central sun within, the solar plexus. This is the center of personal power, willpower. This allows you to be who you are truly meant to be. Once the center of personality, integrity, and ego is harmonized, energy flows to the throat. And as it passes the gates of the heart, light is yet again transformed. It is then elevated to a frequency that is untouched by the ego. So when you speak, you are emitting codes of high vibration that are devoid of fear. You, and he is referring to the individual I am, the higher self that is you, the one that is you, the one that is connected and linked to that source, to God. So again, you are speaking with the heart. So once the central power the central sun within the body within the human is activated and harmonized when energy flows from the lower chakras to the throat which is the 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 throat chakra is the center of expression of authentic self-expression it is our voice when the energy flows from the solar plexus it passes the gates of the heart and this is when energy where energy is really moved and it is harmonized and when it goes to the throat when we're ready getting ready to speak we speak with the heart without the ego it is harmonized it is the energy is transformed i'm going to read a little bit about the um the golden ray and what that is because that's what really came in strongly for me and this is something that um, Ataya Lee wrote so this is not something that I channeled or it's not anything that I wrote so um, yeah so I'm gonna read this next just so you, so you can get familiar with the golden ray so the golden ray is the 12th ray of creation and it is the highest frequency of God's of God's light currently available to the earth plane it contains the essence of all the preceding rays and its energy is what is known as Christ consciousness, the experience of oneness with the creator. When you activate the golden ray in your field, you connect with the great central sun, which is the firstborn of creation from where all souls originate. Therefore, when you connect with the great central sun through the golden ray unity consciousness, you connect with the highest aspect of your soul, which resides in oneness with all souls. It is the great oversoul. In this space, everything is creation. In this space, everything in creation is known, including the best solution for every imbalance. When you work with this ray, you go beyond healing. It brings forth complete transformation and spiritual rebirth. The ultimate purpose of the golden ray is to assist souls in this journey, in their journey back to the one. But one, but on a more mundane level, it manifests the qualities of peace, harmony, creativity, and unconditional love. It is the ray of God that blends the physical with the spiritual, combining heaven and earth. The golden ray brings you into now, into the now, helping you gain inner clarity and inner knowing while opening your connection to be guided by your higher self. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful because um, whenever I tune into the energy of Master Yeshua, it's always very childlike, very innocent and very pure. And he's always wearing like this white robe and always like shining like the sun. It's like he's like the sun just so vibrant and just full of life and i'm just i just have a vision of him like just standing there with his hand extending his arm in his hand like asking us to hold his hand but one thing that he wants to make very clear is that um it's like i am it's like he's not here to do things for you 
he is simply here to help you because it's like there's this I'm fine oh can't find the words um, it's like there's a lot of us because I'm I'm included in this there's a lot of us that have a very difficult time of taking that step it's like that final step that's gonna take us to our destination and it's like give me your hand give me your hand I, I'm gonna help you like I, I want to help you but it's like he doesn't see himself as something greater than me as something greater than you it's like he's looking at us as his equal and it's just like a friend that is showing up to help you to help you cross to help you take that step so that you can start believing in yourself so that you can start loving yourself trusting yourself trust your voice trust what you have to say It was very difficult for him to take that step when he was here. So it's like it's like he's saying that he I can relate to you because I was in that position. And it's like what he's doing right now, it's he's putting himself or he's I don't know how to put it into words. He's showing up as you, as me. And it's like, forget that I'm like this. Because in religion, you know, that God or Jesus is often seen as God, as this greater being, this magnificent being, the, the child of God, the son of God. And yes, Jesus, Yeshua, was this magnificent being. But at the same time, he was human and he struggled. It was very difficult for him to take that step, to start using his voice and to start doing what he came to this earth to do. And that's why he came in to me as a, or to us, he's coming into us as a mentor for messengers of divine light. And light is not the light that you see. It's not energy. Well, it is energy, but it's information. Light is information. Light is truth truth that you are meant to speak and like i mentioned in the in the beginning that what i was reading is that what you are here to speak no one else will ever be able to say because you are you and they are them you hold a specific frequency a very unique energy their energy my energy is going to be different than yours and that's the beauty of this that you are here as a messenger of divine light but it is your message and it's always going to be uh, emitted, it's going to be extended in a different way than I will ever be able to speak perhaps the same message. So it's not so much about the words that we are using, but about the energy behind the words. It is about the intention behind the words. So yeah, it's very beautiful. And again, he is there and he's ready to take your hand to help us take that step. And he's doing this because he understands he understands that we see beings like him that are so full of light and, and beautiful energy as these magnificent beings, you know, ascended masters. And we see them as an example. And he's not putting himself an example. He's simply understanding that that's the way that we feel their energy, like Buddha and all of those ama amazing, beautiful ascended masters. But he's showing up and he's saying, hey, give me your hand. I am, going to, I, I am going to help you take that step so you can step into your divine truth, your divine light. And again, and there's, there's a lot happening in the world, but it's like he's, he's right now, he's like, don't even worry about the world. Don't even worry about what's happening outside of you. Let's focus on what's happening within you. Let's focus on yourself. Let's focus on what you feel and what you think. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being courageous, for loving, for not giving up, for allowing me to walk with you. I love you. I see you. I've always seen you. And I honor you. I love you. 
you need to hear that. I love you. I see you. I honor you. And I believe you. I believe in you. Do you believe in yourself? That's the question. Do you love yourself? Do you see yourself fully? It's all about you. It's all about you. It is all about how you see yourself. Nothing else matters but you. Just keep walking. I'm right here with you. Close your eyes and take my hand. Feel me. You feel the warmth. It's a little tingly. That's me. I'm holding your hand. I'll never let go. I'm your friend. I'm no better than you. Everything that I did and continue to do, you can do and you will do. Are you ready? It's time. It's time to feel. It's time to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. The central sun within awakens. Yakoesta ma hiela akoe hia sto. Doro yama akoe posto. Doro ia koe am hatoe sa. Hala yolo ekoesto o ma ako hia ma. Yara koe sa ena hako uye ustu ma ko hap ma iata yoho o ma ako lo uesta yoko ako hiesta yak ako ho ia hakasta tro yusto tro ho yesto tro ho yesto I can help you, but you have to do the work. Toroho yesto yoko ama ako esta. Oko hiaka yara ako ma yakto esta. O uma aka ako o esta. Toro o hama yako esti ama. Toro o hama kaho ko esti ama. Ako o ah. Do ho sa a ko o ho ko o ho sa yara a ka toro uyosto toro uyosto. Shift the focus to your solar plexus and take an inhale as you breathe in as you inhale. Feel it, um, take it down to your solar plexus and visualize that sun, the central sun, your central sun activating and waking up. And as you, as you exhale, the central sun expands, grows and grows and grows. It surrounds you, the light is within. The lights within. Wake up. Iro oma ako hesia, ako yama aka akto riasa. Tolo oro ma ko hu yasta. Ira ama. Ira ama ka yasta. 
Yoro Oma Yoro Oma Believe in yourself, love yourself, know yourself. You are safe, you are loved, and you are always protected. Something that I'm feeling inspired to share is that this solar plexus is also the link to your archangel aspect. We all have many aspects of us that exist in the quantum multiverse and your archangel aspect is deeply connected to your mission on this planet as a messenger of divine light. So continue working on your central sun, activate it with your intention, wake it up, it's time. Continue to always visualize that central sun expanding and shining and expanding and growing and becoming, awakening. The more it awakens, the more you will feel comfortable in your own skin, comfortable in the body, confident in yourself, confident in your truth, confident in your voice, because you are here to speak, to use your voice. You are here to love and to be and to live. So don't overthink it. If you feel the need to say something, share. But if you feel like you have to say something, be silent. You don't have to say anything but if you feel the inspiration arise to say something, do so. Always follow the inspiration, follow the inner guidance, follow the heart and speak with the heart. The central sun awakens. Ako yama akka yustu. Ako ho ema akko esta. Tuluhu yo maaka, iro o esta. Tuluhu iya na maaka, tu esta. Ira hama aka isto maako iya na a. O ena ako iya hama a istia a. Iro o na haka yo tu esti tu umma a. Tulo o ena a, tulo o ena a. In this moment, I am having this visual of just ascended masters surrounding you. It's like they're forming this circle around you. You are there sitting in the middle and they're all there. They're not doing anything to you energetically. They're simply holding space to raise you up. They're giving you the space are honoring you as a messenger of divine light. Because it's like they don't have to do anything for us because the power is within. We are powerful enough to meet them where they are at energetically. They're not lowering themselves to meet us. We are not meeting halfway. We are fully rising up to meet them where they are at vibrationally. 
Energetically, we are a match. So feel their energy surrounding you. And whenever you feel like you need help, like you need assistance, reach out, ask for help. Find a community, connect with people. Don't be afraid of connection. Those connections will help you strengthen your own energy to be able to feel comfortable enough to eventually speak and share the messages that you are here to bring. So it's all, it's all in divine time. It's all in divine time. But you will get there. You will speak. And if you don't feel seen yet, you will be seen. But you're always seen by us. That's what they're saying. You're always seen. You're always loved. You're always held and supported and protected. But it's like, it's like they're not doing anything for us. It's like, because I feel them now taking a step back and it's like, they're not really doing anything energetically because it's like, you are more than powerful to be able to take care of yourself and to do all of these activations yourself. But they are there, of course, always to assist us if we need anything, if we need assistance. And it doesn't have to be Master Yeshua. There are so many masters that are working with us energetically from the higher dimensions to, you know, to help us get there. Because, um, yeah, being human is hard and we have a massive ego. And our ego is what keeps us really uh, from achieving or from attaining, activating who we truly are at a multidimensional level. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's it. Because, like I said, that like I did feel him in them taking a step back. Yeah, have a beautiful evening. And if you have any experiences, just one more thing. If you have any experiences with Master Yeshua after today, or if you do more meditations to awaken the central sun within the solar plexus, definitely let me know. I, yeah, because I would love to learn more about your story and about your experiences. And yeah, let's connect. So thank you all so much, and I'll be back soon.